Pacific Island nation of Federated States of Micronesia, serious efforts are underway to enhance water security in the remote, outlying islands of the states, as residents there are learning to cope with climate variability and change. One such effort is the European Union-funded Global Climate Change Alliance Pacific Small Island States Project, currently being implemented by the Government of the Federated States of Micronesia with assistance from the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, SBC. The Improving Water Security for Climate Change in Selected FSM State Outlying Islands Project provided rainwater catchment systems and well pump infrastructure on Fice Island, an outlying island of Yap State, and supported community assessment and tank design work on two lagoon islands in Chuk State. It's the uniqueness of uh, our country here that uh, with four states and quite a number of other islands uh, we're able to uh, work together, but it's a major challenge to us. The uh, Federation of Micronesia is quite uh, far apart in terms of the island, uh, other islands here, so the program that we have been uh, working with uh, EU, uh, as I said, is very helpful, uh, especially for those uh, uh, islands, other islands far away from the main island with no power and uh, others. Uh, uh, it's a great help to them. Fires Island is uh, mainly accessible by air and water. And through air, it's mainly through the nine-seat passenger airplane. And in contrast to many of the other remote lying islands of the FSM, which are even uh, further away and only accessible by sea. The only transportation available on island uh, is through uh, items and things being hand carried as there are no vehicles on the island. The Fires Islanders are quite self-sustaining and they make do with limited quantities of water. In times of drought or when facing difficulty and challenges, usually coconuts are the only source of water and hydration. The women and children gather fresh water from the community tank which is located next to the island's elementary school during when it has uh, open ration water hours. Availability and access of the supply of good quality water in the neighboring islands has been degrading steadily over the last several decades. Several underground aquifers uh, have been tapped by wells but are considered uh, no longer fit for con consumption and this is due to the effect of salt water intrusion. Um, poor water quality, however, is not limited to underground aquifers as it has been found in uh, several household rainwater catchment tanks uh, where they have been positive for E. coli contamination. Uh, hygiene is a very big concern for Fias Island and the neighboring islands and this is shown through a high incidence of diarrheal diseases uh, found in the islanders. This can be attributed to the lack of proper sanitation, for example, there are few toilet facilities that exist and those toilet facilities do pose a threat to the underground uh, aquifers on the island. There is limited uh, water for use uh, and washing on the island and bathing is usually done in the sea. The availability of fresh water in the outlying islands of the FSM is highly dependent upon favorable environmental conditions. And so expected climate change would have a significant impact on water security in these outlying communities, uh, including higher air temperatures, which can affect evaporation rates, prevalence of waterborne diseases, and the availability of quality water from ad hoc storage systems typically used, as well as sea level rise, which can affect the availability and quality of groundwater supply in small, low-lying islands, and changes in precipitation and extreme weather events, which can aggravate water scarcity through damage to and contamination of catchment systems. Insufficient water supply, as well as the poor quality of water, um, are related to a great deal to the lack of maintenance and difficulties with obtaining spare parts to the islands, as well as the overall remoteness of the outlying islands of the state. Yeah, 
We had a drought for uh, maybe a couple of months and we don't have uh, much water on the island. The only water that we were using is the one at the school. And uh, we have, uh, I've been experiencing uh, people having diarrhea and, uh, and I think it's because of uh, water related uh, diseases and uh, amoebiasis outbreak of our, our amoebiasis out here. And I keep telling the committee to, to boil their water. So much work was done with uh, our uh, coordinator, Ray Faltamoy, and uh, other members of the government and uh, private entities like uh, EPA as well as uh, Public Work and YSPSC going up and do some assessment and surveying. And then out of that, we identify those families that will need those water tanks to support them uh, to have enough water for their families and community. We were on the island of uh, Fais uh, when the delivery of, uh, of water tanks was, uh, was going on. We were able to see you know, the communities actually going to, to bring these tanks uh, ashore. Uh, you know, some of them have already been uh, installed and uh, you know, talking to the community it's clear that the, 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 the tanks are going to make a huge difference in, uh, in the future. I think uh, getting drinkable water has always been a, a, a major problem. And along with the tanks, uh, the boat was, uh, was delivering, also uh, supported by the GCCA program, the Global uh, Climate Change Alliance program, supported by the European Union. They were also delivering uh, containers of, uh, of drinking water. So again, something which there will make uh, an, immediate, uh, an immediate difference. And we were able also to see a, uh, a well uh, which has uh, recently been, uh, been established by the uh, SPC, um, again uh, European Union's supported, which is, uh, which is pumping water up and uh, that was installed just one day before the, uh, the cyclone, uh, before the typhoon. So again something which uh, I think can make a, a significant difference. Those infants who receive tanks and improvement to their catchment system signed a signed a maintenance agreement and they were also given training in how to maintain their system and water quality. EIPPA is doing water quality testing regularly. An awareness campaign is ongoing in the local language that highlights water conservation and the importance of uh, maintaining water quality. Moving uh, anything from Ponape, where the national, the capital is, on the Caroline Voyager to make uh, service all the way here to the western uh, state of Yap. A hundred thousand is an easy money that goes because uh, just fuel alone is hundred plus thousand dollars. So yeah, it's it's very bulky, and I think uh, better coordination should be there so we get uh, more impact with uh, the money we're spending. It's very hard because of the accessibilities to this island, not just transportation mode. It's also because of uh, accessibility into the island through the reef. So it's hard to maneuver, you know, whatever uh, uh, materials or equipment you have to the islands. Uh, the tanks, fortunately, they are floatable tanks. But, you know, uh, this is a challenge that we've been talking about when we move into reconstruction. How do we get materials there? What type of materials are appropriate? Procurement of the tank, uh, it took us a very long time to work on it. We don't have factory here like Nue, that they have tank factory that they can produce, manufacture uh, uh, the plastic water tank. We also have uh, difficulty in uh, uh, asking quot uh, quotation from our local vendor because uh, in, uh, in the local vendor here, they have also uh, challenges dealing with outside uh, uh, distributor company that provide a certain uh, uh, material. And uh, so, like uh, now uh, we have a problem with the uh, gutter now. Uh, somehow the, their uh, supplier uh, are not uh, are not in business anymore, so they're trying to search for another uh, resources to provide the gutter. 
The FSM has four states with a, national, with a national government as well as four autonomous state governments. It became apparent that project resources would be limited in trying to conduct a project with uh, addressing water issues nation, nationwide. And so the FSM government took the decision to focus on uh, a project here in Yap State with reduced activities also conducted in, the, in our neighboring state of Chuuk. It was extremely important, we found, to have a uh, project officer based in Yap State to assist implementation of activities here, as well as a national coordinator based at our national government in Pohnpei to oversee the overall project. And this is due to a number of reasons, um, including unreliable transport, the provisioning of invoices and receipts, as well as the payment processes, not only for the state, but for the FSM national government finance as well. When we find out the uh, budget limitation of this project, the YAP steering committee uh, member with the R&D director happened to send a letter out to the chief of fees to asking fees community member to put in some kind of in kind community uh, contribution to the project. The community are gathering the aggregates, sand and gravel, to the house that they're receiving the tank or they're having their existing tank improved. So yes, the community are really putting a lot of uh, contribution on uh, to this project EU funded. Uh, such as the aggregate and uh, local labor in providing uh, assistance in offloading the tank to the shore and to the house. They also assist the, the government uh, official that go there to work closely with them to get this project moving and complete uh, uh, on time. Typhoon Maysak, uh, really when it uh, arrived in Yap, it was a super typhoon. The project came at a very timely uh, fashion because uh, there's uh, an issue with water out there. We're sending bottled water while this tank can actually help with that. But again, though the project is trying to speed itself up to also provide that need of water tank, at the same time they're, they're hitting problems with the roofs being torn off the houses. So <laughs> it's more like uh, taking two steps forward and a step backward. Uh, yeah, but the, the tanks are really a good relief. There's no question about the importance that water, you know, especially uh, 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 quality uh, water, uh, is badly needed in uh, uh, everywhere. But most uh, importantly, the outer islands because they they don't have uh, access to uh, a better purification of their water and all of that, like, like compared here. I, uh, been impressed, you know, with uh, what I've seen about the quality of the project, the follow-up on it, the kind of uh, response time that uh, the uh, EU and the SPC had uh, uh, taken to respond uh, right after the uh, Typhoon Mesek. Like any other Pacific Island uh, community, uh, people here are they have a sense of uh, togetherness, a uh, sense to help each other, and a sense of uh, community responsibility. Uh, the tanks, though, are going to identify houses. The community can still uh, benefit from it because we live in an extended family setup, and uh, uh, everyone sees it as an opportunity to, you know, have safe drinking water for their kids and elders. Uh,